So hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. We are going to make some charts which has conditional formatting and I'm going to explain step by step how to apply this conditional formatting. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to watch a lot more of my videos. So in this video we are going to create two charts with has conditional formatting. You see the first chart is a bar chart which has a green bar for the maximum value and orange bars for the other values. This is a line chart with data labels. The data labels of values which are above sales target are green and the data labels under sales target are red. I'm going to show you how to create these two conditional formatting charts. And always remember, when you need conditional formatting in your chart, you always need extra data series. I'm going to show you why. We are going to sheet 2 to create the charts. First, we are going to create the bar chart with this table. You see, I have another column with the max sales and I'm going to add a function. I'm going to show you, I'm going to type equal sign if, opening bracket, if the Europe value equals the max value of all the values, fix this one, closing bracket, then it needs to represent the Europe value, else I want a an A message. Close my function, press enter, and copy it down. So you see only the value for America is shown here because that is the highest value. I'm going to my insert tab, and I'm going to insert a bar chart, a simple bar chart. I'm going right click, I'm going to say select data, I want add, the series name is sales, and the series values are the sales values. Press enter. I'm going to add another series for the conditional formatting. Like I said, conditional formatting always means add another series. I'm going to click add, the series name is max, and these are the values. Press enter. The horizontal category axis labels are these. Click OK, click OK, and now you see I have all blue bars for the sales values and one orange bar for the max value. Now we are going to change the format of our chart. We are going to change some options, click your chart, press Ctrl 1 to open the format chart area menu, click one of the bars, it doesn't matter if it's this one or the orange one, go to the series options and the series overlap needs to be a 100%, so they are overlapping. I want some wider bars, so I'm going, uh, going to adjust this one to about 60. Now we can change the colors of the bars. Just click one blue bar, go to the fill and line. I want a solid fill, which is light orange. And I want a solid line, which is dark orange, which is one and a half points thick. Now I want to do the same for the maximum sales. But you see, I cannot select the maximum sales because they are overlapping. So there are two things I can do. I can go to format and I can select series max here. I can also go to in my format data series menu to select max sales in here. I'm going to select a solid fill, which is light green. And I want a solid line, which is dark green. And it's also one and a half points thick. I'm going to adjust my axis. I don't want to see the decimals. So select your axis. Go to your axis options. Go down to number. And I don't want these decimals to be shown. I also want the axis labels to be dark green. A little bit bigger and bold. And also for this axis a little bit bigger. Dark green and bold. Now I'm going to add data labels. I'm going to click one bar. Click the plus sign and select data labels. Now we are going to adjust the data labels. Click the data labels, press Ctrl 1, and I want a value from a cell. And there are these cells. Click OK. I don't want the value and I don't want the leader lines. And I want them inside and I'm going to adjust the direction of the text with this button here. I want to rotate the text up. I want to make it bold. I want the text dark orange and a little bit bigger and a little bit more dark. Now you see there's a dark orange data label in my green bar and I don't want that. So I'm going again, select my chart, 
go to my format menu and select my max sales. Now I can click the plus sign, also add data labels for the max data series, select it, press console one, and again, I want values from cells and there are these cells. Press okay. I don't want the value and the leader lines. And I want it also inside end. Now again, I want to change the direction of the text. So rotate the text up, make it a little bit bigger, bold, and the text needs to be dark green. Make sure the text has the same size as the other data labels. So it placed over the other data label. You can close this one and you have your chart with your conditional formatting. Because when this value changes to, for example, 10,000, you see the Asia bar is going to be green. Now I want to show you that also make data labels with conditional formatting. For that, we are going to create this chart. And we need also some extra functions here. I want the data labels for the above target and the under target. So I'm going to create a function here which says equal sign if opening bracket my value is higher or equal than my target which I'm going to fix then it needs to be the value of January or else I want a NA error message. Press enter and also here but the other way around if opening bracket my value is under target fix it then I want the sales number else I want an, an a error message copy these two down and we are going to create a chart go to the insert tab insert a line chart with markers in this case right click Go to select data. I'm going to add three data series. The first one is the sales, which are these one. The second one is the above target. And the third one is the under target. Press OK. To see all the lines, you can right click on your chart, go to select data, go to hidden and empty cells, and you need to uncheck this box. Press OK, and now you see multiple lines. Well, we want the data labels, so we are going to select our chart, go to format, and go to the series above target, add our data labels, and we are going to Make these data labels dark green and bold. And we are going to our format menu. Select the under target. Also add data labels. Select them. Go to your home tab and color these one green. Well, now we're going to format our data labels and our chart. We are going to select the orange line because that's the line for a booth target. We don't want to see a line on there. So press console one to open your format data series menu, go to the fill in line and, and under the line, I want no line. The same for my gray line, that is for the under target. I also want no line. My data labels for the under target, I'm gonna select them. I'm gonna to go to the label options and I want them below. So they are under my line. The green are above, that's good. And I see there are three decimals here. I don't want that, so I'm going down. I'm going to number. I want a currency with zero decimals. I want the English United States dollar sign. The same for the other data labels. Just click them. Select currency. I want the English United States dollar sign and I want no decimals. My line has markers. So select your line, go to the marker. I want a solid fill, which is, for example, dark green. And my border is, for example, a solid line with this compound type. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger to, for example, five points. And 
I'm going to do that for all the series. And I can change the color of my line also. Select it, press Ctrl 1 and click my line. I want a solid line, which is green. I want my axis selected, press Ctrl 1, go to the axis options and to number to delete the decimals here. I don't want to see them. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, bold and also dark green. And I see I forgot to select my horizontal category axis, select your chart, right click, go to select data, horizontal category axis labels, select the month in here. And you see they are under your chart. Select your axis, make it a little bit bigger, bold and dark green. And here is your chart with your conditional formatted data labels. So that's how you apply conditional formatting in your chart. I hope you learned a lot of it and that you can make your own conditional formatted charts. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and really don't forget to subscribe if you want to see a lot more of my videos.